Good morning, shalom everybody. I um, I uh, just wanted to get a quick message out there. I know um, most of you who this message is going to go out to are are aware that uh, tonight starts Yom Kippur, uh, the Day of Atonement, and um, as I've just been in prayer this morning, and I had to repent before the Lord because it's like. I knew this was coming. I knew the cycle that we're in with these, these, these holy days and such. And you could feel the something in, in the spirit that is changing. It's building. Um, that there's going to be a release. And uh, anyhow, uh, I just had that, that, that greater sense this morning as a, in, in prayer, in, in the word. And uh, the Lord has been um, giving me, I believe, a message to... Um, to share, uh, but also uh, to, to pray, a fuel for the fire, so to say, a direction in prayer, and uh, I, I think this is this is important. Um, part of part of what it is is that we need to, as the priests and ministers of God, to uh, to to cleanse ourselves, to make ourselves ready, uh, to take up our priestly positions and tend to our duties. Um, Isaiah and uh, the Lord through Isaiah admonishes the people who bear the vessels of the Lord to cleanse themselves. So today, now, not just, you know, 10 minutes before Yom Kippur, we really should have been, you know, and I know many of us are who are, who, who are watching this, have been making ourselves ready. We've been in prayer. We've been in communion with the Lord. We've, we've been preparing ourselves, and that's all good and important. Not minimizing that, but there is, I just had the sense that today we really need to be bathing ourselves in worship and prayer before this evening. <clears throat> now you're going to have to get with the Lord and, and, and get your um, instructions from Him is what you and your family should do. Um, if you have some stuff to do around the house, you know, say, Lord, I've got some stuff to do. What do you want me to do? Uh, but the sense that, but the sense that I had uh, from the Lord was is to not put anything common before our eyes uh, and before our before ourselves today. To consecrate ourselves, and and, and you know, in Leviticus sixteen. Uh, I don't find it as a coincidence that the Lord starts off by saying, uh, he says this, he says, it says, As the Lord spoke to Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron, when they drew near to the Lord and died. Now, of course, it, you know, they, it's Nadav and Abihu who uh, offered up strange fire, and at a time when they weren't supposed to, and they weren't commanded to, by the Lord, but they died. But what I what I what I what I what I heard the Lord was speaking there was is that uh, was an admonishment for us to uh, in the appointed time be ready to come before the Lord. So, ready yourself. Make yourself ready. Bathe the day in prayer. If you've got stuff to do, bring it before the Lord. Um, but busy yourselves in prayer. We need to busy ourselves in prayer and in praise today. Um, humble ourselves and prepare our hearts for the burden of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.